all right what's up guys this is spooky and i'm here to talk to you about some amazing new footage that i have for you based on the tokyo game show build of dragon's dogma 2 now this is an rpg by capcom and the team that's still a bit early in development i think they have not really officially put out a release date for you or anything like that so i'm very happy to show you some of this early footage to hopefully get you guys excited especially lately because we've been in a very big rpg kick uh you know on all the various platforms whether you're on pc playstation 5 or whatever you got so anyway dragon's dogma 2 uh you see a little view here i've been checking it out right now in the build that i could play there was three classes available so you have uh you have the archer you have a fighter and you have a thief all three are available for you and you can pretty much choose whichever you one you want to go through the game in this build, uh, there was a lot of combat, as you can see. We would be at the start fighting against this griffin. And I have three little partners that work with me. Now, I didn't play the first Dragon's Dogma very much, but I find that the partners in this game are extremely well designed. Uh, you have partners that will do things like tell you about treasures that they might know about nearby, just to help you take on some side quests. And also, when you're on the various quests that are in the game, whether they're main quests or even side quests, you can have one of your helpers help out and guide you, whether they're, you know, kind of easing you towards the direction of where you're supposed to go or whether they're doing other stuff. Anyway, this is me fighting against this griffin. Each of the characters has several skills and of course there's also a talent style system too that you can use as you level up to, you know, increase your skills or change your skills around and really, you know, maximize and optimize your build to your own personal style. The trickiest part about fighting these griffins, okay, of course, is that they love to run. Once you beat them up a bit, all these large enemies, that's all their thing. And then you're going to have to go search throughout the open world to, to find them again once you beat them up some. Unless you can get them all in one go. Graphically, I like the style of the game so far. There's something about the face modeling that's just a little bit different to me. It, it's got something stylistically to it. It makes me think a little bit, as weird as that sounds, of Borderlands. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you know how Borderlands has the crazy face modeling for some of the characters and the, 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 the general character modeling, and you see a little bit of this uh, with the up-close faces. It's pretty cool. The combat is very fun, too. You have the ability to grab hold of the enemies and drag them. You can also grab hold of, like, your teammates or random NPCs if you want. You see here me grabbing hold of this thing a little bit and trying to bring it down just so we can beat up on it some more. Oh, it's out. Leave it to me, Arism. Anyway, I'm really surprised. Uh, number one, at how good this looks and how smooth it looks. This is another one that I'm, I'm going on an assumption here, but I'm assuming that they're, they're working with the Reach for the Moon engine with this one. And if you guys have seen any of those great uh, Reach for the Moon engine games, whether it's the Resident Evil series, Street Fighter VI, uh, or a few other ones as well, that uh, like Monster Hunter that utilize the engine. Uh, they're designed to always have kind of a minimum frame rate, no matter what you're really doing on screen. And it uh, helps keep the action smooth and flowing, while also helping minimize latency. Because you know those lower frame rates add more delay to what you're doing. This thing has a ton of help, by the way. These things are not a joke. They have a ton of help and they hurt. Happy to show you a bit of the combat. All right, I think I think this thing is, is going to be out of here quite soon. It does eventually run away. Whoa, he's getting bolted. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Anyway, you're going to see me chasing after it for a bit, which gives you an idea of the, uh, the large environments that you're going to see as I kind of chase after this thing and figure out where the heck it's going. Uh, this is a little bit of the open world and what it looks like. And you have several towns you can go to. In fact, when I was playing, I probably uncovered maybe 10 to 50% of the map that was available to me tops. And I'm assuming that there's much more. So I'm assuming that there's not just this map, but that there's a lot more to it. I will be with you in but a moment. Beautiful, huge open world. Look at the draw distance, by the way. The draw distance is excellent. I can see that thing freaking far away. Eventually, it's going to go over one of the, the ridges here that has a huge bridge behind it. So it's going to, there you go, out of my reach. Is that a dam or something? I can't even tell what the heck that is. It's a huge, either a wall or a fort or a dam or something like that. Anyway, that thing is out of there. So eventually, we can't really chase it down. So I'm going to forward over to some more footage. This is going to be me playing the Archer character. And this will allow me to show you some of the quest systems. So stick around. 
All right, so this is me trying out the Archer character as well. And the same deal, it starts you out in this demo at least with three teammates already ready to go. Although you can find new teammates as you go and you can, maybe you've got a teammate that you don't like so much. You can just kind of dump them and just leave them behind and let them find their own way and get you a new teammate to work with. Maybe you're trying to, to build a, a certain type of team and you want the right classes around, that type of thing. I have no idea what was even in this. I just saw something out in the world. I was like, I gotta get an item. Gotta grab the item. So oh God. Obviously, you can see the frame rate is really nice. The camera angles are really nice. It's a full open world, so you have control of which way you want to go. Even at the beginning of the game, uh, it does give you some hints with the main quest as far as what you're able to do. Uh, but you know, if you don't want, if you don't care about that main quest, or you're not in a rush, then you can go throughout all the towns and you can find several NPCs and you know lots of little quests to do. Whether they need help or whether you know it's a combat thing, go hey, slay this monster for me. We've had to start sending out new recruits. Is that so? Lachlan. But I dare say... Oh, uh, also, most of the NPCs, as far as I can tell, were fully voice acted. So you see there's uh, lots of voice acting going around, whether it's your average little quest NPC, or it's an important story NPC that's guiding you onto your next task. Ricardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't half these reported in that area? This first little quest is going to involve us trying to help out uh, some soldier that had has gone out to, to stop some harpies or chase some harpies out of town. He has not come back just yet. So these soldiers are going to send us out to take a look at and see if we can find them. Would you be willing to go in our stead? Isn't far. And this will be great because it gives me a chance to show you a little bit of the questing system in the game. But uh, in game, uh, naturally you have your menus and your maps and everything else. But you also can specify which quest you want as your main quest. And when you do that, of course, uh, any of the NPCs that you got with you are going to help you out. Whether they're going to guide you towards where you're going or they're going to, you know, set up in advance and say, Hey, watch out, there's danger ahead. Speaking of danger, that guy's dead. Ooh, that guy's been dead for a while. My God. All right. I grant you fire's blaze. Uh, one nice thing about playing as this archer is I don't think, at least in this build, there's no friendly fire. So, uh, it makes it really easy to kind of stand behind your teammates and just, like I'm doing, just launch some arrows. Most of these little goblins and basic enemies won't be too tough. In fact, I found the archer the easiest to play out of the ones that we had, the, the trio. Between them, the thief and the fighter, the archer is really easy to keep your distance and let, you know, your teammate fighters kind of do what they do and just stay close to the enemy, stick to the mob. You go beat them up. What the heck was that? I didn't even notice I did that. <laughs> what was that? It was like a, was that a pot? <laughs> Anyway, I hope that you guys will really like this. I know that this is not really normally the type of thing uh, that I would upload here on the YouTube channel and play. But I know that there are some out there that are very excited for this game. And although this is not the typical thing that I would get an early preview of, I figured I would take full advantage to try it out and show you a bit of what it's like. The combat, a bit of the questing, the open world, and of course the graphics. The graphics are top notch. The voice acting is top notch. Seems like it's going to be a very fun RPG. If you've been having a lot of good time with all the crazy RPGs that have come out lately, I won't name the particulars, but you know what I'm talking about, guys. In the past month to two months, we've had several amazing role-playing games, both in the JRPG style uh, and in this more traditional, uh, you know, open-world style, as well as we've even had a couple of the wizardry style, you know, dungeon crawlers, and they all have their own charm. This one certainly has a charm to it as well. It's got me excited to give it a try. Looks like a good little open world, you know, enjoyable storyline. You know, there's our soldier that we got to help out. Gives him a nice little blue aura to let you know what you got to do. And we got to beat up all these harpies. The good news is that since I'm an archer, it makes it much easier. If I was a fighter, I probably would have to use some skills or chase after them in some way to knock them down first. Maybe use one of my teammates to throw some magic. But because it's me, myself, as an archer, I for, for real can just, I can just snipe all these guys. It makes it easy. Anyway, you tell me your thoughts, guys, on Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm especially hoping to hear from fans of this series. You know, I'm hoping that you guys not only enjoy this footage, but that it's going to get you really excited for this title. We don't have an official release date, so I can't really tell you when it's coming out. But I can tell you that looking at what they've got available now, uh, they have certainly made a lot of progress. I don't know how close they are to completion, but what I played felt like a game that, that was, a, you know, there were some things, 
that were not complete yet, but uh, a large portion of the world and the game felt playable already. And I imagine that, you know, they might even have, you know, already reached a point where they've got some of the endings done and all that stuff. Only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Nice channel to, to my teammates helping out and making it easy. Is that all, right. all of them? <sighs> you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Well, there you go, guys. That's pretty much one of the, the first quests that I took on as a thief. Gives you an idea of the quest system and, you know, some of the early gameplay, what it's going to be like, whether it's fighting against those huge monsters, you know, and trying to get those big kills and those big loots, you know, questing throughout the world or uncovering, you know, the main story. I hope you guys will like this one. Once again, guys, I'm going to keep it short and sweet for all of you. This is Dragon's Dogma 2. You got to see a little bit of the combat, a bit of the open world and the questing system. It's going to have, at least at the start, three classes that you can play as. You can play as the archer, the fighter, or the thief. It's got a very cool take on the medieval style. And I think it's going to be quite amazing. All right, everybody. Once again, my name is Spooky. Thanks for all the love as always. You guys have a beautiful day. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.